Today we are going to do these very simple and sweet eye designs for spring. Very, very simple and elegant. I'm going to be using Leanne's new collection by Fusion, so stay tuned and I'll show you how I did them. I'm going to use a one quarter inch dagger brush from the face painting shop and pink pixie from the fairy palette to start my rows. I like using a smaller brush to do roses on the face because if you use a three quarter or one inch brush, you're going to get a huge rose and it's going to overwhelm the cheek, the forehead, the eye, whatever you're doing very, very quickly. So if you reach for a smaller brush, if you don't have a dagger brush, try a half inch angled brush or something that's going to give you a smaller, more elegant flower, it will help you out and you will end up not overwhelming the face. You can also see I did three larger petals at the top and then when I get closer to my eye, I'm just barely pressing a petal down with that brush to get smaller petals. That way I don't completely overwhelm my eye. So I also continually dip back into my one stroke when I'm doing roses and then I also drag the very, very tip of that dagger brush through a little bit of already activated white and that really helps differentiate between the layers of your face paint especially when it dries because it's going to dry just a little bit darker so drag the tip of your brush through white it helps this is the brush I'm using from the face painting shop the dagger brush I love this brush and I'm actually going to use it for the majority of this design so I'm just going to finish off the center make sure that the white is nice and crisp and that I've got enough layers in there so that it looks like a nice fluffy rose. There we go, not bad after not painting for a month. So for the leaves, instead of reaching for green, I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to grab the warm tones from Tiger Lily, which is another one stroke in the fairy palette that I like very much. And I'm going to pull those leaves from the top and bottom down and then I'm going to extend the tip of the leaf with my dagger brush as well and I'm just going to drag it out and down so that I have a really nice flow. I love doing leaves in unexpected colors. It's a great way to add more interest and add a bit of like whimsical fantasy to your designs. And don't be afraid to go back over it if it's not as bright as you want it to be. I wanted this one at the top to be a little bit brighter, so I just layered it up. And I'm just dragging the toe back and forth to create some veins for the leaves as well. This kind of design can be done in so many different colors too. You could do a white rose, a blue rose, you could keep this neutral, you could do like a dark rose with gold for Halloween. It's so simple and very, very quick on the job and very elegant. I'm going to grab some blue. This is Indigo Princess from the Pretty Rainbow palette, which is also part of Leanne's collection. And I'm just going to add some whimsical little flurries. Now, when I do this, I'm trying to frame the leaves but also make sure that the flow of my lines are going towards the center of my face. If you were to say do these lines and start angling them back towards the hairline, you're going to lose some of the natural flow and intention of your design. So when you are adding line work or details, just be conscious of where the focal point is and what you want that overall look to be. And I love the little touch of blue here. I just think it adds a nice complementary color to that gold. You can stop there, but you can also add a few details if you'd like. I love adding a series of dots to the ends of the tails of my lines and leaves. I do this a lot when I'm painting my arm. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I love doing elaborate flower designs on my arm and there's always a lot of dots and a lot of little line work and things like that. So I'm just going to add a touch of that for detail. I'm going to add a starburst at the top as well. 
and just have that little bit of like brightness and sheen come from the top. A few dots at the bottom of my rose also. And then at this point, if you see any holes or if you'd like to even add more detail, you can add a little line work, but it's not necessary. This is meant to be a very, very simple design. Since I do have time and I see a little bit of a hole right there at the back of my rose, I'm going to add a winged teardrop and then a few other teardrops just to frame it. Nothing too big or overwhelming because I don't want that to be a focal point of my design. I just want it to complement everything. So not too much here. I might add just one more at the top just to fill that in and I'm keeping them very, very tight and small and concentrated. So our very last step is I'm going to add some glitter gel and this is Orion and it has these beautiful pink flecks in it that are going to complement the rose and just add the perfect amount of sparkle. You can also see the magic of editing. I've already painted the other side of my face, but I will um, show you guys that rainbow coming up right after the rose. So stay tuned for that. I think this is just so sweet and pretty. I love how it turned out. I hope you guys like it too. Okay, now for the simplest rainbow design you will ever do. I am starting on an angle with a three quarter inch flat brush, pushing and pressing that color down and then ending on the tip of my brush. I'm gonna go back over it so it's nice and bright. This is a Leanne one stroke. I believe this one's Island Girl. My magnet's covering it up, but it's beautiful and you can't go wrong with any of Leanne's rainbows. I'm gonna start with a winged teardrop right on the corner of my eye to cover up that very edge of my one stroke. And I'm doing a winged teardrop to start. And then I'm going to do a succession of teardrops right underneath, keeping them very close and tight together and the space in between them uniform. That's going to give you a more consistent look. I'm going to do one at the top as well trying to make sure that the space in between each teardrop is the same. This is very, very simple. And you can do just teardrops. You don't have to do that first winged one. I do like doing the winged teardrop because it adds a bit more interest than just doing the teardrops. As you get closer to the bottom of the eye, move to a couple dots and that will also help with the illusion of smaller teardrops, but it doesn't have to be a teardrop. Now you can pull this up and around and do some more line work if you'd like, but I'm not going to do that. Sometimes I do little dots coming from like that winged teardrop or the teardrops at the very, very top. So you could do a couple dots going up and over the rainbow as well if you want to extend it. But my intention here is to keep this so simple and tight and close to the eye. Now, whenever you're painting white over a color, you want to make sure that your paint is very, very creamy and thick so that you get a nice bright white. And if you have to go over it a few times, that's perfectly fine. I am never this picky about it on the job, but as you guys know, when I'm doing videos, I try to make it nice and clean for you. So. I want the rainbow itself to be very sparkly, so I'm going to add in some starbursts and then glitter to get that effect. If you feel heavy handed with your starbursts, move to a liner brush. Put a dot down and then flick from the dot. The liner brush is going to give you a much lighter and elegant starburst and you'll avoid putting big heavy starbursts on a design and overwhelming it, which can really easily happen. I'm also going to add a few white dots and then I'm going to add the glitter, which is going to just finish off this very, very simple design and pull it all together. So I'm going to put a very generous amount of glitter cream called Luna from American Body Art on the highlight point of my cheek and then cover the rainbow with it as well. And this is going to give that ultra sparkly look and take a very, very simple design up a notch. 
I love the glitter cream because you can rub it right over your paint and it doesn't smear. So it's perfect for this design. And there we go. Two very easy eye designs for on the job. Great for spring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You did ask for more eye designs. So this will go into part of my eye design series and I will make a playlist of that as well. So you guys can watch all my eye designs together. As always, please like and subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.